Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the devil's basement. Oh, the devil's basement. You will never be able to escape this. Welcome to the devil's basement. The monster inside of me fucking comes out when the sun fucking goes down. I and the predator, my haters, saw the prey. Everyone hide inside because they're afraid. They're afraid of me. Okay. Okay, Trigger, let's start off this interview. I have a question for you. All right. Okay, so on your first two albums, you had, like, uh, I would like to thank God that I could create this album and blah, 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 whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you have that on The Abyss? You didn't have one of those on The Abyss. Well, here's the thing. It's like, those Uh first two albums, mixtapes, whatever, I was like, I thought I'd like to think that I was religious, or at least at that point I was. I wasn't like heavily religious, but I did. I don't know. I associated myself with Christianity, but then it's like by uh, the end of Wide Open, you can tell I just like started questioning it, like really. And even in the darkest hour, I questioned it a lot. And the song Silence, I was like, "Where are you at when all this shit's going on?" And then like for now and forever, and then the Abyss came out after that. And I just, you know, I completely just lost everything to that. So that's why I didn't oh, yeah. put it on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Josh, you got what you got? Roll up, I got a list of questions. I don't know why I wouldn't have opened them before. Why? You're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're actually kind of dumb, Josh. <laughs> Damn it, I opened the Discord quotes. <laughs> I'm literally autistic. Come on now. Jesus Christ, man. The Discord quotes. I kind of want to hit you. By the way, thank you guys for having me, by the way. I forgot to say that. Oh, but no one else would have us. You, you do like hey, yeah, me. yeah. The thing is, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure for a while we were like, man, we should do like a trigger interview. That'd be kind of dope. <laughs> Wait, for I, real? Uh, maybe Josh was. I, I, I was aware, only aware about this for like the last week. He was like, hey... Uh, so I was talking to Trigger, and uh, he said that he wants to do an interview, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's nice." And he's like, "Yeah, I want to get you on it." I'm like, "Aw, that's really nice, <laughs> Josh." Okay, yeah, sure, I'll do it as long as I'm not okay. busy. I've got my question. Okay, all okay. right. What genre would you say your music is? Well, here's the thing: it's like I wouldn't label like myself as one genre because it's like. I'm multiple different genres. I can do rap, but I can do also do rock, and I can do pop. I'm just, you know, that's why I don't really call myself a rapper. I call myself as in like an artist, more of, you know what I mean? Uh, so what I've I, heard from you. Oh, I should probably close my window. <laughs> I may have had my window open. Why? Because uh, it had a, it was storming outside, and I like to listen to the storm. Cause so I like you storm. open your fucking window? Uh-huh. It's like here, lightning, come on inside. Oh, dude, I wish I got hit with lightning. I have a stick <laughs> that's been hit by lightning sitting next to my bed, and I've been wait for real. It. Yeah, it's really cool, dude. I wait, I should come over to your house sometime. Uh, 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 uh that's <laughs> that gonna would be, be very hard. hard to do. Yeah, it's gonna be you have to go over multiple state lines, bro. No, I meant like it's worth it, so I can get hit <laughs> by some fucking lightning. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Honestly, okay. Uh-huh. If you think it, if you think it'd be lucky to get struck by lightning, it would be. But then, if okay. you get struck by lightning when you're sitting inside your uh-huh. house with your window open, that'd be pretty <laughs> fucking lucky, right uh, there. Trigger, God, I want you to create uh, a cover of "Thunderstruck" by ACDC and instead of "Thunderstruck," it's "Lightning Struck." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I no, I, fucking, I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can we uh, can we have the trigger interview in parentheses lightning struck? <laughs> Wait, the cover right now? No, that's that's what we should have the name name of the uh, of the interview be on YouTube. Oh uh, hell yeah, this is going on YouTube, right? No, it's going on fucking uh, Pornhub. Yeah, I'm, Pornhub. I, you have actually. I, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it on my <laughs> Pornhub also. Fuck yeah! <laughs> actually, wait. I'm gonna use this as an as a, an opportunity to uh, advertise my motherfucking Pornhub. It's not <laughs> underscore day of mortis. No, no, no. <laughs> it is me. If this is going on Pornhub, we should have this called interview fuck by three dudes. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like it. I like it. 
Hell yeah. No, no, no. In a review, fucked by three dudes in parentheses, lightning struck. <laughs> lightning. God damn it, man. You're a genius. <laughs> yes. To verify to the viewers, I was clapping, not fapping, so. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I was doing both. Wow, that, that's a real man talent right there. <laughs> I mean, really, that's just a weekend for Jake. Yeah. So where is the weirdest place that you've ever recorded? <laughs> oh, dude. That question. No, 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 that's a good-ass question. The weirdest place I've ever recorded was a fucking bathroom. That's where I started recording music, actually. Like, uh, uh, I had two projects before uh, The Darkest Hour and Wide Open, okay. but I deleted those off my SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah, because on, uh, on the fucking first album, it says it's my third album or whatever. Speaking about that, uh, I'm assuming you meant like you were standing in the shower and recording, right? No, 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 no. Hell no. It was so weird. All right. So it was a small ass bathroom, right? Uh-huh. Like you could like re- put like out both of your arms and you could touch both walls, right? Oh God. I used to live in a house that had a bathroom like that. It sucked. Yeah, All right. Well, there's you. this fucking flip down camera, not camera, fucking Jesus, cabinet thingy. And oh, I'd yeah, set- I was going to say, why do you have a camera in your bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> <Security> <laughs> a camera. Hey, listen, Did things get weird it? in my house. No. <laughs> Who installed it? <laughs> no, but for, it's like Josh, this cabinet. Josh installed it. Yeah, he, he installed it before I knew him. Fuck. <laughs> I put a camera in Trigger's fucking. No. Uh, let's, talk about that. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's promote Josh's uh, sneaky cam. I mean, um, regular house security system installment business. Hell yeah. Yeah. But no, seriously, it had this flip down cabinet thingy. And like I put my microphone there and I plugged in my headphones and I didn't have no pop filter. I had no editing skills whatsoever. So this songs and like the songs I recorded in there sound like fucking garbage. Like the beat would be too loud and my voice would be too quiet and echoey because I'm in a fucking bathroom. So they were all fucking terrible. And I remember like my first song ever, I had this goddamn terrible line. It was like I made everyone go, oh, like a bowl of Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, that's fucking fire! I don't know what you're talking. About. Yeah, yeah, that's almost as uh, that's almost as bad as. Well, oh, we can't do that since we're gonna do the uh, uh, spoilers. So, uh, you guys cover your ears. Uh, the Josh interview. Oh uh, no, no, that line's better than anything that Little Doe can ever come up with in his entire life. <laughs> Facts, dude. You should have seen it. I was messing. Oh, oh, by the way, his name's not Little Doe anymore. It's Jello. What? The oh fuck? yeah, it's Jello. <laughs> Jello. Is it really? <laughs> Did he fall yeah. down the stairs and come up with that one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, that, so says, that really says something about his character that doesn't. Uh, that, that doesn't he sound strange. It Dude, like I, I wouldn't be surprised honestly. I'm creating a petition to make him. Yeah, I know. If I could get like a thousand signatures on that, that would be like. Oh my god. You have to. You, you could, have to do it now. <laughs> Dude, put it in the link in the description. We gotta fucking do it. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, for the description, the description, we need to have like the link to that, the link to Josh's like SoundCloud, the link to Trigger's SoundCloud, and then like just some random ass like charity link that we're promoting or something. <laughs> and then Josh's <laughs> Pornhub and then my YouTube channel. Uh, oh, oh I, yeah. don't, I don't know if they oh, would yeah. like to put a Pornhub link in the book. I don't think just they don't would. T- don't tell them it's Pornhub. Just tell them it's like a fucking abcmouse.com website. Uh, actually, <laughs> technically, you're allowed to put it in. You can't put it in the description, though. You have to put it in the uh, comment section because I've seen people do it. Wait, really? Yeah, don't ask. Yeah, don't yeah. ask. Pinned kind of- comment is my Pornhub. <laughs> Dude, why do you go to YouTube comment sections to find porn videos? Are you that sad? Don't fucking worry about it, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Speaking about that, hey, Josh, remember that fucking video that we watched together? <laughs> Jesus Christ, let's move on. <laughs> Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's get away from <laughs> as fast as humanly possible, baby. This is the oh, best yeah. interview that anyone will ever. So, have how did you get into making music, and when did it really? When did you really start taking it serious? All right. Well, I have a huge musical background because my dad, you know, he was in like smaller bands and he'd play music all the time. So it's like 
I always always introduced to like new things and whatnot. Oh, My mom, yes, yes, yes. being a rap head that she is, she always would play like Ludacris every time she would pick me up from school and some shit. But I didn't really start like taking it seriously. I- started like writing music until I was like thirteen. Yeah. And like I remember like writing like the first song after I had this huge like breakup and everything else like that. I was like, dude, this is it. You know, and then just like I <laughs> it started with oh like Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, I wrote songs for like a whole year and then I was like, didn't really, you know, start recording or anything until like my sister was like, she encouraged me to put shit on SoundCloud, YouTube. I'm like, all right, no, I'm gonna try it. And that was like 14 at that point. So then I uploaded two songs. I think it was like Coco Freestyle, which is, that was the fucking um, song I had the Cheerios line in. <laughs> and I forgot the fucking other one was. Is it but- Coco Freestyle or Coco Puff Freestyle? No, I should have been Coco Puff Freestyle. Yeah. That, that's gonna be my next one. Uh, that's gonna be your next song. Yeah, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try to get the kid, the kid, the kid who did the fucking Reese's Puff commercial to hop on the track with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's your favorite color? Um, black. But people say black isn't a color. It's a shade. I'm like, all right, what color is my shirt, dumbass? They're like black. I'm like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah, actually, I like that argument a lot. Well, yeah, uh, technically black is a color. It's just, it is a color. Oh uh, yeah, it's a shade. What's it? A shade of blue? <laughs> I don't get it, man. I hate it when people are like it's white, a shade. Bro. I'm like, it's a shade of white, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I mean, un- under that logic, right? Let's say that black is a shade of white. All right, we agree on this. Wouldn't that mean that black people are just white people? Think about Let, it. Let's, let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> let's not get into that. <laughs> Speaking of which, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, uh, dude. <laughs> Fucking best interview question ever. Um, Hardest. Hardest ever. Oh, uh, man. It's either chocolate chip cookie dough or that like, coffee one over at uh, Superior Creamery. Have you guys ever had that? It's like Java the Hut or something. Something stupid. I cannot say I have. Uh, I know coffee. I've had coffee. I really like coffee. I had it as a kid. I grew up uh, eating it at my grandma's house. I like you eat lot. coffee. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes I fuck? eat coffee. <laughs> Not coffee no, ice cream. Coffee. Just coffee. No, you eat coffee beans, right? Sitting there <laughs> crunching on oh, it, and your God. grandma's like, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" <laughs> 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 coffee beans. Just walking on Jake, just hoarding fucking coffee beans in the nipple and on coffee beans. He has hundreds of thousands of coffee beans. I what have the uh, fuck, Jake. I, uh, <laughs> I have a problem. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, just let's, we have to do this at some point. Uh, today we are sponsored by uh, Little Doe Music Group, the Little Doe Music Group. AKA the Kids Bop Association. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, the idea of Will Doe sponsoring something is just so funny because he can't even, like, he doesn't even have money to spend on himself, much less get money to a cause. No, he has, <laughs> he has, yeah, he has just money to get weed. About it. Not even. <laughs> Dude, he's so bad that Kids Bop doesn't even want him. <laughs> yeah, kids mom would be like, fuck. He's know. retarded. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'd be right. Yeah, oh. so this is getting demonetized like hella quick. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I'm getting a call, but I'm but no one's calling me. Uh, Just hear the Lizzie. noise. It's Lizzie. It's Lizzie. Oh, wait, it's probably Lizzie. Actually, hold on. Wow, right in the middle of the interview, too. <laughs> Oh, it literally was. It literally was on Lizzie. It was not on. <laughs> how fuck? did you? How did you? I mean, how did Lizzie call you? You know, well, it was. It was on on Liz. Someone called Lizzie. Okay. Ah, someone called Lizzie. Yes, yes. You wouldn't have said that. I would have just. It would have kept going until <laughs> until it would have stopped. Who who called Lizzie? Uh, it was the big PP game. Oh, uh, the big PP gang. I don't know how the hell Lizzie is in the big PP gang. I mean, I, I think I think Simp invited her. Word. 
So what was your first rap name? <laughs> uh, dude, Trigger is my first official rap name, but I've had so many fucking ideas. Someone told me I should call myself Kid Skulls. I'm like, that's fucking retarded. That That is actually retarded. Like, I'd rather be called Little Doe than that. Like, no thank you. <laughs> I'd rather be called Jello than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Little Jello is just so fucking fitting, dude. I fucking love it. But, dude, I've Maybe always. You get sponsored by Jello. Yes, we should get sponsored by uh, Jello instead of uh, Little Doe's fucking. Yes, yes, let's get contacted. Let's contact the Jello Association of America. <laughs> Jello, hit on my email. You know what it is. <laughs> you know what it do be. Fucking hit up that email, bro. Trying to get contact. Hell yeah. At but not Lizzie, that Lizzie, hashtag Lizzie, sponsorship. At not Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie at gmail.com. Yes, but not for real. I've had. So many people tell me, oh, your rapper name's stupid, Trigger, Trigger, it's so stupid. I'm like, all right, give me one. They're like, they come up with a name that's like way fucking worse. I'm like, I'd rather go kill myself. Sorry. <laughs> no. no. Uh, the only thing is, uh, I'm afraid every time I say it that uh, my racist genes might come out and, you know, you know, say the wrong thing. <laughs> that's fucked. <laughs> I mean, as long, as long as you don't, we're good. All right. Yes, my fellow... Sorry, sorry. Don't say it. Don't say it. Jake, Jake, please. Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. Jake, no! <laughs> we have to put it like an ear rape warning. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need to put multiple warnings at the beginning. <laughs> oh my god, we have to get one of those like Cinemax, like warning this is this program has not <laughs> y'all no, about to get a no, trigger no. warning the trigger interview warning do not watch <laughs> <laughs> the warning this content this content may not Conti. be suitable for shut the fuck up this, <laughs> this content might not be suitable for people under the age of 18 or little you have been warned or little toe little toe is still under the age of 18 is he I thought he was. He's like 17, isn't he, Josh? Bro, he is. No, there's no fucking way he's 17. Yeah, he acts like he's 12. I know. No, he acts younger. What the fuck? It, yeah. yeah he I, I know. He, he acts like I like I'm more mature than the guy. Like really. I think everyone is. I think a fucking toddler or a newborn's more mature than he is. <laughs> I came out the womb and I was more mature than Little Doe. I think a, a baby can make better music than them. I mean him. You know, speaking of which, Devil's Basement. <laughs> uh, shit. Can you explain the motivation behind that? Like the entire song or the diss line? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, mainly the, the little doe diss. I mean, that. All right. Well, here's the thing, man. Like, I've seen Little Doe on the radar for a little bit. Now, like, someone showed me his music. They're like, dude, you got to listen to Little Doe. He's fucking terrible. I'm like, all right, bet. And I'm always open to local artists and whatnot. So I just sat there and listened to it, and I'm like, by the end of it, I just wanted to blow my brains out. I'm like, this is fucking bad. Like, I never knew someone can make music so bad. Like, I listen to some pretty shitty music. Let's be honest here. I've made, I made some pretty shitty music too. But yeah, even think, my worst song is better than his best. Made some pretty bad music. Yeah, so let's, far, let's be honest. My music is technically bad. No, and it's like any any upcoming artist is going to make terrible music. Not every song is going to be a home run. But it's like you shouldn't give up and keep going. But eventually, you're going to fucking improve. <laughs> Little Doe does not. Uh, I would disagree. He has improved over like the last two songs, but really, it's been it's so minor. It's not even. He knows reasonable. how to work a microphone. <laughs> he knows how to turn it. No, on. he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, he records on his phone. <laughs> yeah, dude, I've been there, so I, I'm not. I'm not gonna shit on him for that, but. Now, imagine little, if you had an Android, that would be even worse. You, I mean, I the music quality would probably be the same. Yeah. But um, I like what I'm gonna say is that like I like I wouldn't diss someone for making bad music because that just be stupid. There's um <laughs> the drama that happened around here with the you know the whole school shooting incident, and it's like I don't fuck with people who think like that. And the fact that he got away with such something so huge, I'm like, dude, there should have been more done. And the fact he was so unapologetic about it, I'm just like, 
Man, you're a fucking piece of shit. He and really gonna, is, man. He's done and, so much. He's done a bunch of shit to me, man. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. He has. No, 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 bro. And uh, dude, if you're listening, make a fucking song about me. See what happens. I'm fucking dead ass serious. Do something. I would love to see that beef. <laughs> it would. <laughs> I got something for your ass coming, bro. Seriously, like if you make one song about me, your fucking career's over. Your non-existent career. <laughs> My voice yeah. cracked. My bad. He would have to have a career in the first place for you to hit the <laughs> Just but not going all the trigger it. interview, <laughs> aka lightning struck, aka <laughs> non career stick interview. <laughs> How'd you how do you write that in text? How do you do that? You can't. <laughs> Josh will find a way. <laughs> okay, we just added another title to the like aka lightning struck, aka Josh will find a way. Sounds like a really what inspiration. Has the biggest part of your career been so far? The biggest part? Yeah, in your opinion. Man, there's been a lot of good moments here and there, but um, there was this one time, uh, I don't know if you guys watched it or not, but I made this uh, freestyle to the J. Cole song called Middle Shot, right? And I, I, I put out this uh, pu- publicly. Shit, I can't fucking talk. You know I mean, I'm sounding like fucking Porky Pig. Porky Pig? <laughs> I'm like, that's all, folks. But not for real. Um, and, like, it hit, like, 200 views, like, within a week. And then, like, this is, like, my first time ever having a video blow up that big and that quickly. So I got on my Instagram, made a little thank you video, thanking all the supporters. And, like, make, like make, also making, like, an announcement about my song, Man on a Mission. And I remember after posting, I was on a Skype call with my friend Hayden. Uh, shout out my boy Hayden. He's the one who helps me uh, make the music videos. But, um... Uh, I was on a Skype call with him, and I got a notification on Instagram that says, Team Minus liked your post. Now, keep in mind, Team Minus is the name of the producer of the actual song, Middle Child. And I was like, man, that can't be him. It has to be some type of fan account. I remember I looked on there. It was actually him. I was like, what the fuck? I almost choked on my oatmeal cream pie. I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> that like, sounds like some Josh would say. I was like, I no, I with the oatmeal- choked on my cracker or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, with the oatmeal cream pie in my mouth, though, I was like, <gasps> I, want yeah, to make it I want somebody to make a cartoon of that. Oh, <laughs> please. On my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ran downstairs to tell my mom because I was like so fucking excited. And I ran in here. I was like, Mom, Mom, you won't believe what happened. She said, Did someone die? I'm like, No, even better. <laughs> 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 no, even better. <laughs> even better. I, uh, yeah. I, Jesus, you must really hate your family. God, God dang. <laughs> nah, but yeah, that's been a bigger part of my career so far. Um, there's been opportunities lining up here and there, but I'm not going to publicly now publicly announce one because it's not for sure an in-ground. But if it does happen, that'll be my biggest moment. Uh, what do you think is your favorite song that you... My favorite song that I've made? Mm-hmm. damn that's a really hard question because it's like every single song that I make is special to me because it's like it's like my children <laughs> yeah it's but, like, uh, like, except for middle child it's your middle child yeah fuck middle yeah. child <laughs> <laughs> Do you ask nah. to yeah little doe is the middle child of this family <laughs> nah um, my first song I proudly made is probably um, Rises of Right Now. Like, I've been listening to Rise a lot lately, and I know that may sound lame to listen to your own music, but it's like, if you're an artist, you're going to do that. Josh does literally all the time. That's literally almost all he does. Like, that's not all I listen to, but it's like, I listen to my mixtape every now and then. Like, all right, what? How can I improve that? Like, I study it, you know? Uh, well, I would like to say my two favorite songs that you've made are Abyss and, uh, one man army. Those Thank you. Good. Yeah, yeah. You did something really good with Abyss. Like you had no like rhythm uh, things, like drums or anything, and you still made it sound good. Well, thank you, man. Yeah, it's a challenge to do without drums. It's so like people don't really realize that until they fucking do it, you know? Yeah. So 
Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Especially like uh, the genres that I mainly listen to, or at least I used to mainly listen to it. Now I'm really branch out into everything. I used to mainly listen to like metal rock, and I can't imagine a metal rock song without like drums or anything. And you pulled that off. Yeah, it's making the abyss is like something new to me, but it's also something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I feel like once I was at that point and ready, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and fucking do it. And then I did it. Uh, yeah, speaking about the abyss, though, uh, Josh, don't you have a question about it? What does the abyss symbolize? <laughs> does it have any details? <laughs> As in, like that intro where it's like, "Welcome to the abyss. This is the place between, like, whatever." Right? Well, the abyss is like the abyss of my life, the abyss, the abyss of like my soul, my mind. It was just like, like during that point in time when I dropped for now for which was just the project before uh, the abyss. I was going through a lot mentally, and I was just I was depressed a lot. Yeah. Okay, I'm and sorry. Just, I'm sorry to stop here, but did you say when I dropped Kroger's? I, no. I, I, okay, thank God I heard that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I dropped. I was, not bad. No, I was literally just about to say, yeah, over here dropping my new a mixtape, Walmart. No, that's my next project, the Dollar Store. <laughs> it's gonna have a little dough on it. Dollar General, yeah, it's, it's dollar gonna have a song general. called Half Off, and he's gonna be the only one on there. <laughs> Half Off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this sounds. I want. I want to create a song called Half Off and only get fifty cents on it, and an album called The Dollar Store. <laughs> <laughs> but no, and like as you can tell by the end of the abyss, it got more lighter with the subject and like the sound by crashing down, and then like the like never return skit. It's like basically like you're able to escape, and once you leave, never go back, never go back to that dark place of your life. Uh, if you don't mind, Josh, which you probably. Um, one thing you said in there, I completely disagreed with. You said never look back, uh, and I disagree with that heavily. Because uh, I think that you should look back to the mistakes and the emotions that you have, so you can, uh, feel free to experience uh, what uh, like to have them again without being so deeply. Like, I see where you're coming from, but I, I wasn't, like, talking about mistakes. I was just talking about, like, dark things and, like, like really bad things that you could not handle or cause that are out of your control. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, mistakes. Like, like, like that one time that Josh and Little Doe, well, I guess Little Doe was majority watching it, uh, but a bitch getting fucked by a horse. That was pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Little Doe probably was like, oh, I'm going to copy and paste this link and then go home and then watch this later. <laughs> <laughs> the fucked up part is it was I was the one that had it up. I was the one screen recording it. Imagine God. if your mom walked in. I know, right? Joshua, so what fun. are you looking at? Joshua. <laughs> Just ask your mom if she wants to join in. It's she probably sport. would say yes. Mom, God, get out of my room. <laughs> While well, I'm watching my horse porn and playing Minecraft. <laughs> you want to join me? in? Yeah, you want to help? <laughs> the, the trigger interview, aka lightning struck, aka Josh, aka watching the horse porn while playing Minecraft. Hell yeah. <laughs> Get out of my room, mom. <laughs> <laughs> For the love of God, please. <laughs> exit the room. <laughs> <laughs> exit, like I exited out of that young link. No, I had I kept that shit open. I, I didn't back down. I was gonna stand my ground. I didn't open it, but I I, I mean it looked like I did. <laughs> it really did. He set that up perfectly. I, he turned the monitor off, so I had to turn it on. So it really looked like I was out here searching it up, you know. <laughs> Young Link porn. Here's That's my question: Why did he look it up? Why did Starman look up Young Link? So that so we're that interviewing him now. Over there. So that I would fucking walk over there, and then it would look like I fucking opened it. What a fucking prick. You gotta do that to him sometime with, like, young horse porn. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking get him back. Bro, what the Dude, fuck is like, this? <laughs> we were talking about the abyss, and all of a sudden we're like, so horse porn, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Horse porn. 
You guys know how some <laughs> YouTube videos have like like the like a clip from deeper into the YouTube video at the very beginning, right? Then like music plays and the actual video begins. <laughs> we should make so we were talking about the abyss and how it turned to horse porn. <laughs> And then, the, and then the fucking music, the like dubstep drop. <laughs> music plays. Uh, this uh, this might not be suitable for people under the age of 18. Or a little dumb. Flashes up in text and block text, and then the interview starts. Now recording. Yeah, you know, people might never <laughs> know. So Speaking like the- of horse penis, who are you looking to collab with in the future? Uh, uh, what the fuck does that have to do with horse penis? But that is a good question. Because that's a famous rapper, of course. <laughs> definitely. Um, man, I don't really know, but I definitely would have wanted to collab with you, Josh. I want to collab with uh, my friend Quentin the Kid. Shout out to him. Uh, my friend Little Tarzan. Shout out to him. We, me and him, are are able to collab on. Uh, I'm falling like Kobe. What? Because <laughs> in one of his songs, he says, uh, "I'm." He said, I'm balling hard like Kobe or whatever, right? I said, so I'm yeah, like Quentin, yeah, Quentin. Me, I'm Quentin. falling hard like Kobe. <laughs> Me, <laughs> Quentin, and uh, my friend uh, Tarzan, we all collabed on my uh, last project, When the Sun Goes Down, which is on my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, we did some pretty good songs, but uh, I also want to collab with... Uh... Fuck, I don't know who else I want to collab with, to be honest. Damn. Well, but like I'm open to anything. I'm open to anyone. So it's like if anyone's like, "Yo, you want to collab?" and they were really good, and I'm like, "All right, fuck it, let's go." Josh, I want to hear a trigger and a, a fucking Zach song. That sounds amazing. Trigger and Zebo, dude. Trigger and Zebo be literally so cool. You and me are almost collabed to once, uh, Josh, on the Cast Cast remix, but I yeah. opted out of it. Because of uh, Lil Doe. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. Fucking ch- ma- change the roster last second. <laughs> Bro, I will say my verse went fucking hard on that. I like. I know that sounds cocky as hell, but my verse went fucking apeshit. Oh my god, dude, I was not expecting your voice. Like when Josh showed it to me and I heard it, I was like, this is what, this is what Trigger sounds like. He sounds like this. <laughs> like, no offense to your voice, but I was very surprised by it. Yeah, it sounds a little bit lighter when I rap. Yeah, no, you sound like hella when I was expecting you to sound like hella black. Wait, you for real? I mean? Yeah. Oh, he's Trigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Trigger. Hey, hey, my name, uh, my rap name is Trigger. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> You're stepping right around it. Just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> But no, man, I wish I was on that remix. Enough. So that beat goes hard. I love Patch Scratch. <laughs> the original song goes fucking hard. But I, it was fucking Little Doe talking about cutting his wrist and some teacher sucking him off under desk. <laughs> and is it Hannah? I want to fuck Miss Me to kill <laughs> Like, no offense to Hannah if that's the girl saying who was on the song. Like, but the singing on that song was like annoying. Like, she said cash scratch like 20 fucking times. I'm like, okay, we get it. Move on. Please. He was fucked up because that's everyone's favorite part. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. I yeah mean, I, I, it's my favorite part, too. <laughs> I guess, I guess it's, it's kind of a you have to know Hannah to be like entertained by it kind of thing. Maybe. Maybe. Because like, it, everyone, like, like, because uh, I only like, I only like it because where she says, uh, cat scratch backlash don't let him hit in the back I thought that was really funny because that sounded like something fucking Hannah would say so like it, it made me laugh really but uh if we have to go like actually like best I'm gonna have to say it's next level yeah yeah he did really good with the fucking production <laughs> yeah I even texted him I was like yo you did a good job and this was when my verse was still on the song. He was like, yo, man, you did a really good job, too, and whatnot, so. Oh, yeah, next level's a sweetie. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> is is this your coming out interview, too? Yeah. <laughs> well, technically, it was three interviews before this, but, eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh.
It was back at the STEM interview. The what when? <laughs> oh yeah, Josh. I guess you you wouldn't. Remember. I did root for you. <laughs> uh, how'd we do the <laughs> I gave you some Adderall too Sorry to say Addies I gave you some Addies <laughs> Let's all fucking group hug virtually Over this interview yeah, yeah, Let's okay, just... okay. Dude Josh Speaking about Addies we should uh, The next interview should be uh, After your interview it should be uh, the Blue Roscoe interview We should see if he wants to do an interview That will do I'm gonna I'm I'm add him and be like, hey. <laughs> and so, like, in this interview here, if you go to, like, this point in the interview, listen, we mentioned you. <laughs> you know, so think about that, you know? what are you <laughs> We sent him this part where we're explaining how we're going to do it. <laughs> yeah, so, like, what are your opinions on this? <laughs> That's how I'm gonna say it. And he's gonna be like, well, you, kinda at, you kinda said it in the video. You need me to... <laughs> We can we can cut this out, right, Josh? We can. We can no, I'm not cutting it out. I'm leaving it oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah, leave it in. No, all uncut. Okay, sorry, Trigger. Sorry, we're very good at uh, we're very good at straying off the path. Uh, no, nah, bro, it's all good. We're all having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Josh. Any other questions you got there, bud? Uh, bud, buddy boy. Let me look here. Uh, you sexy beast. <laughs> Why, thank you. Uh, I do not have any. Uh, I do not have any other, any okay. other questions. Okay, let me flip it around on you, Trigger. You have any questions? Yeah, yeah. What are, what are your questions, Trigger? All right. This is the fucking... Um, this is the uh, moment to shine. My time to shine? I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but... um. Why do you still make music with Little Doe even though you know he's fucking bad, Josh? Oh, he actually is a really good wow. question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good reason why. That's a pretty good reason. <laughs> he ain't gonna say it. I think that's all that needs to be said, really. <laughs> <laughs> wow. like, that's my only word on that. Wow. What clout would you get from Little Doe besides incest? Wow. Well, you know, um, it's cloud at the end of the day, you know? Like, it's literally, like, Josh and Little Doe are famous together. Because, you know, the whole cuts and homebody. Eminem, Dr. Trey. Gonna step on the track, step on the track <laughs> might break your mama's back. With the Atlanta, looking ass. No, the thing is, we work so well as a duo because he's a fat fuck. I'm a scrawny bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More you know, Luigi. Great music. Josh has long hair. He has brown hair. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I have a big penis. He has a small penis. <laughs> you mean he has no penis? <laughs> yeah, I have a big penis. He has an inverted penis. <laughs> I have a big penis. He has one too. <laughs> I have a no. vagina. Yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God, no. A, a lot's getting exposed in this interview. <laughs> Dude, that's how you get the Sims, bro. That's how you get the Sims. Like Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, for real. I'll, I want to say this, though, about Lil Doe's latest song. Uh, was it like Alone in My Room Again? I don't know what it was. I don't fucking care to know. Oh my god! What was the joke that we had about alone in his room? Again? He was doing something weird. And we made a joke about him being alone in his room. I don't <laughs> know what it was, but it was some really fun. But no, the cover, the cover art he had for it, I thought that was like the kid from Monster House on his fucking cover. I was like, is that oh, the fat kid with the blanket? I love that movie, dude. I love yeah. that movie. And now, ever since I thought that, I can't look at him the same. <laughs> 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 it's really funny. No, he he looks like the uh, Safe Puff Marshmallow Man mixed with that kid from uh, fucking Monster House. He looks like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man or the Michelin Man, but he I looks like the Doughboy, dude. That's what he looks like. Pillsbury Doughboy, little yeah. Doughboy. <laughs> exactly, Bro. dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, I wonder if his song. Jello, like come on, little Jello. <laughs> I wonder if his cooking is bad as his songs. 
That's a I good think, we I don't think he does cook. Oh my no, god. Like if he did. I want to watch that. I want to watch I want him to make a YouTube cooking series where he'd like cook like like maybe one he's just like cooking a brownie. The other one's he's just like putting putting shit in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> you probably eat the fucking ingredients before he had anything to make. He explains step by step <laughs> how do you eat a Twinkie? <laughs> how to eat it for you. Take the packaging off of the Twinkie. <laughs> Then don't, you put don't it in your that, mouth. Step out. that would be very, very vital. That's a very vital step. <laughs> if you we need to, we need to bring this idea to part. him. We need to bring this idea to Little Doe about uh about that <laughs> the cooking <laughs> show. What would, you, what would you call it? Uh, little don't. Um, little don't. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Jesus. Jinx. Yeah. Jinx. Bakery of autistic <laughs> something. Of aut- uh, let's see. Children? Aut- <laughs> yes, yes. Bakery of autistic children. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a kindergarten. It, where it's, uh, in German, it's child garden. Oh my kinder, god. Uh, kinder, uh, yes, kinder means uh, child in German. Wait, for real? Yeah. So the fucking more you know, garden. man. Yeah. I think it would be scarier if it was Weiter Schlant garden, garden. Shit. What oh, yeah. would that be? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love how most of this interview... No, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just gonna explain what the Weiter Schlant means. No, what uh, what I was gonna say was it's like I love how most of this interview has been us fucking talking about horse cocks and making fun of Lil Doe. Yeah, seems pretty accurate for a conversation with me and Josh. Hell yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty good here. So, <laughs> so I mean, interview basically, pretty much. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Best interview yeah. I'll ever have, to be honest. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. You'll refer it to as the horsecock interview. Well, that's not. In your, in your biography. <laughs> and it's like Trigger back in fucking 2020 went into an interview called the court horsecock interview. Bro. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's, that sounds... Josh, you need to put that in your biography that you went to the horsecock interview. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of that, Josh, he's writing his biography. Wait for real? Yeah, he's writing a biography. Hey, my life is so cool and so fascinating that I'm writing. Fascinating. It's so fascinating. <laughs> I'm scared to see what this book is now. If Little Dope wrote a biography, I'd be fucking impressed because I'm like, he can't even read. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can't read either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's never even read one book. Gosh, that would explain. That would explain why he keeps leaving the car. He just doesn't know what button to press, so he just press. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, little Doe will do a thing where he will uh, join a call, say, "Hey guys, ask a question." Like, "So guys, what are you doing?" Leave the call. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally like what he does. Hey, no, the- <laughs> and he's all alone in his room again. <laughs> Yo. Now here's my question: What if it was like a padded room in the music video? You should have made it like padded, like insane, insane asylum. In a straight <laughs> he's smoking a cigar while he's in a straight jacket. No, he eats it. <laughs> <laughs> he munches on it like a pret. Uh-uh. It looks like a fucking uh, National Geographic documentary. He spits out. He spits out like. He spits out a menthol ball. <laughs> when you can tie a knot with your tongue. <laughs> That's one skinny tongue you got there. Bro, he like if he could do that, then that would prove he's gay. Uh, Nothing wrong with being gay, by the way. I just yeah, want to yeah, clarify that. Yeah, just to very very clarify. Other than other there's nothing wrong with being gay except for being gay, which isn't wrong. Dude, there's something wrong with being little doe, not being gay. Yeah, yeah. I think there's just something wrong with doe overall. 
<laughs> like, like there's, yeah, there's just something wrong. <laughs> like both little do and gay have the same meaning, but yeah, happy. I'd rather be gay. Let's be honest, I'd rather be gay than little do, because at least people actually like gay people. True. <laughs> <laughs> at least gay people aren't retarded. <laughs> Hell yeah. At least gay people I mean, don't make music most of the time. No, if they do, it's better. Honestly, even if yeah. it's like ASMR right. gay sex, it's like I'd rather uh, listen to like two guys going fucking at it than Lil Do's entire uh, fucking music. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna agree with you on that. I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that. On that, that's great. That's amazing. Because <laughs> at least two guys having sex can stay in tune and have. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means. But that makes yeah, more sense to Lil Do's music. Two, 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 gay sex is literally more musical. <laughs> <laughs> being gay gives more you deep, more no pun intended. talent than being Little Do. And the lyrical content is better, too. Yeah, yeah. Cat's crush is on my wrist. Oh, just two guys moaning. Josh, 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 we need to get Hannah's parents to make music. Think about it. Think about it. We need to get Hannah's parents to make music. The gay Jew dad duo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has two gay Jew dads. The Jewies. The Jewies. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's, that's really, really good. Oh Man. God. When you do the Dasho interview, that would be fun. That would be fun. But no, I'm not gay. I've got a girlfriend. So, <laughs> yeah, like, that's something I found weird. So, in your uh, second album you have up there, like the first one, you talk about, oh, I'm a friend. And the third one, you say about it. But the second one, you don't say shit. You don't say fucking shit about her. Like, Wait, in which one? For it. Uh, Darkest Hour, I think. Well, the Darkest Hour, I did have an other girlfriend, but it's like, that was shortly lived. <laughs> <laughs> because I get you. I get you. No, no, no. For, for, for. I'll say this. I'm not gonna say no names, just in case anyone's listening. Which they're probably Fuck not. Fuck you, Brittany. Fuck you. Her name's not Brittany, <laughs> but might as well be. But um, not for real. Like, she was with me, right? And we were like very serious and whatnot. And then like she went to college up in Pensacola. Like she left uh, here to go to Florida. And I was like, hey, if you find anything better up there, go for it. Why not? Because like I'm not gonna hold her back, you know? Because she's like. <laughs> At college, whatever. I'm pretty sure that's illegal, bro. Bro, I was like 16, 17. Oh, uh, yeah, it's still pretty illegal, bud. Still bro, she was around my age. I, bro, uh, shut the fuck up. She went shut to college up. early. Nah, for real, for real, for real. Listen, listen. And okay, then all okay. of a sudden, she was like, uh, I've been tempted by some guys and whatnot. And, you know, like, it's getting really hard. And so it's like, I think we should just take a break. I'm like, okay. Then that same week, she confesses that she's still, like, she's still in love with her first love. And I'm like, that's no problem. Whatever. We're not together anymore. Worried about it. But at the same time, she's fucking texting me saying, oh, I love you. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do that. And she's texting some other dude the same thing. And then we're sitting there, like, fucking talking about some shit, which I'm not going to say on the interview. (laughs) (laughs) But... And then she's like, oh, hold on. I got to call such and such. I'm like, all right, bet. And then she literally texts me the next morning. She's like, oh, me and him got back together. I'm like, oh, okay. And then literally a few months after that, they got engaged. And now they're married to this day. Huh. I was God, like, damn. what the fuck? Yeah. What That's the fuck is up. going on? That's that is definitely up. a what the fuck? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, uh-huh. any girl is better than my ex. My ex is a fucking piece of shit. I'm gonna take that as a lyric. Any girl is better than my ex. Piece of shit. <laughs> Go for it, bro. She's a piece of shit, and she's for the streets. She's with other men in the streets, so her ass belongs in the streets. She belongs to the streets now. Oh, to the fucking streets, ho. Yeah, that's that's some that's some ho ho skills she got there. And I will say, like, I, me and her dated twice, okay? The first time, like, it ended off, like, I found she was cheating and whatnot, and I was really hurt, so I made this fucking diss track, right? And I knew her entire school. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I know it seems petty, but it's like, if you knew everything that was going on, you'd be like, all right, fuck it. 
And I knew I, her I, entire I school. You. I don't blame you. Just saying, like, you should have just made a song about it instead of being a diss track. I don't know. It, it was a song, but you, you, you get what I mean. It's more of like a diss. I don't know how to yeah, explain I, it. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, good. But, but, um, nah, for real. Like, I knew her entire school listened to my songs and stuff like that. So as soon as I dropped that within like two hours or whatnot, it already had almost 100 views and whatnot. And everyone's blowing up my fucking phone. It's like, why'd you make this? Why'd you make that? And bro, I said one of the fucking funniest lines on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she, I said that she was trying to shoot through my heart, but she fucking missed and ricocheted herself and hit in the fucking ass. Hit in the ass that she doesn't have. I like it. I like it. That's, that hits. <laughs> that hits. And then, it's like, I remember, like, February, whatnot, she texted me, apologized. And I was like, no, it's okay. And then we sort of gained our feelings back, and I got back with her, which is a complete fucking mistake. Listen, yeah, yeah. I will say this. If your girlfriend cheats on you fucking once, do not get back with her. And that's for anyone watching this interview. AKA advice with trigger. Advice with fucking Trigger and horse cocks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and the horse cocks, also. Advice <laughs> about horse cocks. Bro, my ex probably takes horse cock every fucking day. That's, but, that's uh, pretty kinky. That's Bro, pretty, her pussy is probably stretched out. Looks like I'm Laffy Taffy. <laughs> 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 you, uh, you're special, Josh. Very, very special. But, uh, nah, for real, like, we got back together, and then all of a sudden, she's, like, we would call every day, right? We would call and then fall asleep on the phone, whatnot, but then it slowly started getting, you know, very distant. I was like, what the fuck's going on? And then she, uh-huh. like, was texting some dude, and when she says she was, like, doing something, her snaps cover changed, so I'm like, I know she's fucking lying. And then all of a sudden, she's like, I can't do this, my mental state, uh, my mental illness, uh, fuck, uh, we can't date. I'm like, uh, okay. Even though that's nothing to do with your fucking mental illness, but okay. Not saying that mental illness can't affect that, but hers didn't. Okay. I, and then I, she was texting and flirting with this dude the entire time. As she's sitting there saying she loves me and she wants whore, to get back with me. Whore. What a whore. Huh? Whore. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to for sure need to put that ear rape warning at yeah. the beginning. Bro. <laughs> seriously. And like, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to let bygones be bygones. I'm leaving. Yeah. So right. I blocked her on everything and whatnot. And all of a sudden, her fucking mom emails me for some reason. She's like... Her mom it, emails you, Jesus. <laughs> she, like, well, she's not allowed... She wasn't allowed to talk to me or whatnot for some reason because her mom didn't like me. I don't know. But, you know... <laughs> I don't know. I just started emailing you. I just imagine it being very, she, like, she was like, business. She, I, she said that you were harassing her, calling her, saying you were cheating on... She was cheating on you and all this bullshit. I was like... I didn't say shit. <laughs> I didn't do shit. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I literally texted her on true. Instagram. I was like, yo, I didn't do shit. Your daughter's a fucking liar. And I sent her a bunch of screenshots of the dude that she was flirting with. That was from the fucking UK. So I'm like, so I'm like, so you're basically flirting with some dude you'll never fucking see. Man. Like, bro. Like, Blind girl thirst. problems, man. Blind girl. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, I like that. that. And then, <laughs> literally, no, 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 no. This, the shit that happened, I'm going to talk about now, happened recently. So I came back from my friend's house, right? And I have a Discord uh-huh. server. So, um, shameless plug. If you guys want to join my uh, Discord server, uh, yeah, you're yeah, more yeah, welcome. Yeah, we got to put the link in the description. Link in the description. <laughs> we have to, can we put the link for Lizzie's in the description too, Josh? Hell yeah. Yeah, okay. We we got to, we got to. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, but um no, nah, for real. She got her and her friends got on there and fucking spammed it sitting there saying nice cock, bro, all this stupid stuff. I'm like, whatever. Uh-huh. I'm mocking my lyrics. I'm like, at least I got fans. <laughs> so <laughs> And her mom's not, oh, not not her mom, but she's not allowed to contact me in any way. So I was like, oh, fuck, here we go. Just to fuck with oh, her. Shit. Here we I, go sent, again. I, I sent her mom all the screenshots and shit like that. I'm like, yeah, this is her. Have fun with that. Told her about her secret phone that she wasn't supposed to have either. So oh, I hope her fucking shit got destroyed and I hope she's crying, honestly. And yeah, um, fuck you, Brittany. Fuck you. <laughs> nah, her name's not Brittany. But uh, later on, she she was like, I'm non-binary and whatnot. Like, not, nothing wrong with non-binary people, but her in particular, she's fucking retarded. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. so she's like Little Doe. She's Little Doe Edda. So <laughs> no, Little Doe has more common sense than she does. I will say, sadly say that. Jesus. Damn. I, I, will tell him, I will tell him, <laughs> I will her I will for tell the him that you gave him a compliment. Your ex no. friend has less common sense than him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's saying something. And that's saying, okay, yeah, now it's not a compliment anymore. Now, now it's kind of an insult. Yeah, now you turned it into an insult. Good fucking job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're welcome. But no, nah, for real, I've got a good girlfriend now. She's really supported my goals. Shout out to my girlfriend. You're fucking amazing. I love you. But um, oh, yeah, yes, she's very yes. loyal. She's nice. She's kind. Actually, gives a fuck about how I feel. So. Yes, yes. Tell, tell her I said hi. Um, she might be watching the interview whenever it comes out. So she Ooh, better she's be. Watching <laughs> She's watching us this very second. Yeah, yeah, she's like, literally right listening to every word we say. <laughs> Everything we're saying, she hears. <laughs> Hell yeah. All about the horse cocks and the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the gay porn. <laughs> the gay porn, yeah. She's like, can we talk? So, uh, you say anything about gay porn. <laughs> she's like, can oh I watch with you? <laughs> you like horse porn too? What the fuck? <laughs> How is this finally coming up in this relationship? What the hell? But no, nah, yeah, she's very supportive of what I do. She supports my music heavily, so it's like I yeah. I love her to death. Did you know that there's fifty other people on club with your exact name? So me and Oh, Joshua- I know. Yeah, so me and Josh were sitting. Uh, he was like, "Dude, you should check up Trigger." I'm like, yeah, I probably should too. I should listen to some of his music. <laughs> we have the. We have the like, I'm looking through account after account. <laughs> uh, I'm like, Josh, what, what, what? Where, where is he? He's like, I don't know. And he's like, put a 14 after it. I'm like, thank you. Dude, that's how I memorize my fucking, like, URL. So it's like, anytime it's like, yo, what's your fucking SoundCloud? I'm like, all right, www.soundcloud.com slash trigger underscore 14. <laughs> yes, yeah, no, mine, no, mine's one. just day of mortis. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta it's so weird, because, like, when you go on YouTube, you type in trigger, I'm, like, one of the first few channels that pop up. It's so weird. Well, because, you know, on YouTube, it's just not restricted to just music, but we're... SoundCloud is just music and Lord of the Rings podcasts. Wait, what? <laughs> There's the Lord of the Rings podcast with Trigger on it. Okay, <laughs> okay, we need to arrange this, Josh. We need to arrange it. We can get you on some Lord of the Rings ambience. Do that. It's not. It's not gonna Jesus be that hard. Fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, oh, there's actually a, there's a huge community on. Uh, on what you call on SoundCloud, of like actually, uh, pretty big, Lord of the Rings like uh the board game, or like the RPG or whatever it is, like it's a podcast. Like there's a bunch, and then all honestly, like, it kind of freaks me out. Yeah, I sh- I, sh- I, sh- I, I, I mean, I've seen all kinds of fucking SoundCloud communities, but that was like, it was like actually sizable, like fucking five thousand followers. Fucking uh, one of them had a hundred. Wasn't it a hundred like hundred thousand? I might just be like bullshitting myself. And the, and the plays were pretty good too. Yeah, I'm like I'm like Jesus Christ! This is like an actual dedicated fan base to this. Uh, <laughs> like what the hell? No, I'm like, they're cool and all, but, uh, but my dad made a point. It was my favorite uh, podcast on SoundCloud. So what's it called? Uh, my dad. <laughs> my dad made a porno. I would not want to fucking have that as my podcast name. No, thank you. <laughs> it's like if my dad, dad ever did porn, which God forbid. The por- Josh is looking this up. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I heard some loud ass typing. He was going. And I was like, bro, who the fuck types that hard? <laughs> Who's in my closet, bro? I think it's Trigger's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, nah. I thought you were capping. But here it is. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, yeah bro. This is amazing. And well, it's going to be in the description. <laughs> yeah, link in the description. We're having so many fucking links in the description. <laughs> <laughs> we're I'll probably leave YouTube. one out. We're making the YouTube, like, 
the name. <laughs> it just uh, it link itself. Oh my god, you fucking sent it to me. What the hell? Yeah, yeah there it is. Okay. I'm, so my dad, dad my dad wrote a porno. He didn't fucking film one. Oh, uh, trigger. Explain, please. What do you mean? Explain. No, you just said my dad wrote a porno. He didn't film it. Explain. You fucking said he filmed it, didn't you? No, I said wrote a porno. My dad wrote Oh, okay. I think he said filmed a porno. I was like, bro, what the fuck? Also, oh, how there's do you another write podcast. Made? There's another podcast. Bro, I love how this interview has been like... Not really an interview, but just like a fucking like podcast, which I it's love. Been, yeah, not yeah, yeah, complaining. Uh, me and We're all have made on. a podcast before. G- hashtag J Squad. Sun and Sun posted the. Yeah, bro, you guys should put me on. All there. of my interviews go off the rail very quickly. <laughs> I like it's more entertaining to listen to. Like I'm listening to this, but I'm through it. I listen to this once, like you post it. Bro, we gotta have like timestamps throughout this too, like at ten minutes <laughs> and forty something seconds. Horse cock and all caps. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about maybe doing like highlights or something like that. Hell yeah, I feel like that could work. <laughs> but then I'd want to do highlights of all the interviews, but then that'd be way too fucking time. Yeah. There's no highlights in Little Dose interview. The it highlight really is, is the now. fucking end of it. There's just the part. Uh, and the little blue thing interview that was like the whole fucking thing was gold <laughs> yeah I listened to most of it I was like bro this is fucking awesome <laughs> you just have the timestamps be the whole thing was good yeah. listen to it oh. now I'll do it from like interviews now on you know what? yeah I literally had no clue what you said what'd you say well, I was just saying doing the highlights from the interviews from this point forward yes 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 so I feel like this one's been pretty, except for like a few minutes ago when it got completely silent. Oh yeah, it was it was very awkward. I was like, are they going to ask me a question or what the hell's going on? Because I don't want to be like talking like over you guys. Oh yes, have you ever created any other than uh, music? Have I created any other what art, such as like a book? I've actually poetry. I made poetry. Um, I wrote a book, but it's not, it's kind of stupid and I probably won't ever speak about it publicly, <laughs> but I've also like, I've gotten, you need to, to make an audio book. Yeah. It's fucking audio <laughs> fucking book. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Sam, I am. Forgot. He's clapping those hams. Yo, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> How do you clap a ham? Bro, I ain't, I ain't talking about those hams on the plate. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Oh shit, dude, I just got the fucking best idea, dude. I just got the best idea. Okay, okay. We need an official uh-huh. trigger freestyle. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. We need it on, on this. Yeah. But you had you the beat, Josh. Josh. No, but I can get one. <laughs> Alright, what the fuck is going on? Are, are you going to play it through the fucking, your speaker, or are we going to get a bot in here to actually play the beat? You could just Groovy, stream I'll it. Groovy. Oh yeah, I guess you could use Groovy. Uh, you should use Mar. Because it's like, if you did it from your speaker, it's going to sound like very unfucking like... Cool. I'm a terrible oh, freestyler, yeah. but I'll No matter what, it's gonna be like kinda offbeat a little bit just because it's fucking Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys wanna make this uh it's just gonna be a trigger freestyle or uh we all gonna do it. Cause if so, you know we gotta, we gotta end Oh, we're gonna get a cipher? Hell yeah, bro. Uh, we all get well, every every time I every time I freestyle I end up saying something very fucked that if I were to say out in public and the public guy would be very fucked <laughs> and, and people would not they would not like that shit and <laughs> that I some of the shit that I say okay, some no, of yeah. it's genius but the very no, rarely this is, no, is this it is genius the it's usually just this controversial is, see now this is the disclaimer though you just made the disclaimer so you can say it and people know that you don't actually mean it no 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 I think no, I'm just gonna no, no. I think no. I'm just gonna no I don't wanna risk it you know <laughs> Damn, I wanted to start up the Demortis token out of context Instagram God. <laughs> <laughs>
You still have plenty of ammo in that fucking sector, to be honest. <laughs> I really do. I really, really do. Like a ridiculous amount. He has said some of the weirdest things I've ever heard to me. So I was beating my dick and I saw a spider. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this, this is not. That's not important enough for me to actually go and say the context of. But that, I'm just gonna leave that with no context. But yeah, I'm right. gonna fix a few bars if you guys want. So I was looking at Young Link Paul. Well, it's not. Fuck no. <laughs> All right. But oh, Jesus Christ, it's so loud. <laughs> Freestyle was on fucking B on the fucking uh, recording of this. All right. Well, I feel like that would be a good end to it. I mean, we don't have much else to say. Uh, uh, how are we gonna end this? Are we just gonna say, "Hey guys, do you want?" What if we had it cut off abruptly? Oh. No, 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 no. Wait, can I can I uh, put in some plugs real quick? Uh, uh, uh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, follow my Instagram on at official trigger one. <laughs> Follow my uh, Twitter, the real trigger underscore one, Duh. and look on my uh, YouTube channel, which hopefully the link will be in the description. No and uh, uh, when the sun <laughs> when the sun goes down, deluxe edition is coming out soon. So yeah, that's all my plugs. Oh well, yeah. yeah, so that's really interesting. And now for the abrupt ending. Uh, what? I like to eat horse cock. And then it'll, uh, off. <laughs> it'll uh, cut off as the <laughs> comes in, you know? It'll be like horse cock, and then it stops. <laughs> Hell yeah. I is like to eat horse cock. Is it still recording? Yes, it is. <laughs> so I could leave all this in <laughs> and have it end abruptly later on. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really it could get very fucked. Okay, There's many layers if, I could go. Okay, I could stop it whenever. Here's my theory. What if instead it was like, you know, I could just have it end up.